The matrix vector product. Assume we have a matrix with n rows and m columns, which is now represented by the following. We have n rows, row vectors, r1, r2, rn. Yeah, these are 1 by m matrices. So suppose that A is composed of these rows. Yeah, we have n row vectors in the R M. Now let's define for a column vector. column vector x with dimensions m times 1, so m components. We define the matrix vector product of A times x as the column vector in Rn by Ax equals, well, we take the inner products of Ri and x, yeah, um, it's more precise to say that actually we first transpose a row vector so that it will, uh, it will be a column vector, so we can form inner products with x. Yeah, notice that the row vectors have dimension, have m components, so that actually we get a good match with the dimensions of x. So we take two things, we take an n times m matrix A and an m times 1 matrix x, which is actually a column vector leading to Ax, which is n times 1 column vector. And we see that we can do this when only the inner dimensions match. Yeah, A should have at uh, 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 just as much columns as X has components, so that we can actually make these inner products over here. Consider the following example. So we have a 2 times 3 matrix A and a 3 times 1 matrix X, which is actually a column vector. The inner dimensions, they agree, so we can form the product A times X. And A times X will now be a 2 times 1 vector. So we write down A, we write down X and we form the two, yeah, the first row transposed, the dot product with 3, 1, 2 which is X and the second component is the second row of A combined with X this is our new matrix, or the column vector 2 times 1. So the first coordinate we get the inner product of 1, 2, 3 with 3, 1, 2, and the inner product 1, 0, minus 1 with 3, 1, 2. So what we obtain is the following, 1 times 3 plus 2 times 1, plus 3 times 2, the second component equals 1 times 3, plus 0 times 1, plus minus 1 times 2, which equals 11, 1. 
Okay, but there's another way we can look at this this kind of product. A times x. We're going to do this in a minute. So first, notice that we obtained a two times one vector. So actually, this is just what we we've been telling before. So now notice that actually over here we get multiples of the same number. And we may write a times x a little bit differently. So we take this expression over here, and we just repeat it. So we get 1 times 3 plus 2 times 1 plus 3 times 2 bottom we get 1 times 3 plus 0 times 1 plus minus 1 times 2 and now we use the, well this is a vector and we use the fact that we can manipulate this vector and take out uh, parts of this vector so we take out of this part which leaves us with the vector 1 times 3 1 times 3 uh, here we get a vector 2 times 1 0 times 1 and here's a letter part, it's 3 times 2 plus minus 1 times 2. So we get 3 times the vector 1, 1, which is over here. We take out the scalar 3, here we take out the scalar 1, and here we take out the scalar 2. So we see that we get a certain combination of the vectors 1, 1, 2, 0, and 3, minus 1. Which are actually, look back, look at the, our, our, our original matrix A. These are the columns of the matrix A. And these components here are the elements in the vector X. So if we write down the columns of A, so instead of row vectors, we have now column vectors, v1, v2, v3, the, these are the columns of A, we have that A times x equals x1 times the first column, v1, 1, 1, one plus x2 times v2, 2, 0, plus x3 times v3, which is 3 minus 1. We have the following theorem for matrix vector product. So suppose we have a matrix with dimensions n times n over R, so that A may be written using columns, column notation. So suppose V1, so Vm are actually the columns of this matrix A. Then we have a times x equals v1 to vm, so we use the expression in columns for A, times x equals x1 v1 plus x2 v2 until xm times the vector vm. So we conclude that actually AX can be written as a linear combination of the columns of A and the scalars for the, just before, in front of these vectors, these column vectors of A, are the respective elements in the vector X.